Number nine, I have a quick typo I need to correct. When we're moving to number nine, I'd like you to try to draw it, but when you're reading it, it says it gives you an angle of elevation and then there is a squirrel's angle of depression at 40. Can you change that to um, 10 degrees? Yes. So angle of elevation is still 60. When you change the squirrel's angle of depression to 10 degrees and then draw it. I'll give you like 30 seconds, which is what my expectation would be if this was like a, a test or something. really scary. And I looked at it closer and I was like, wow, it's a rat with a furry tail. Anyways, um, why did I talk about that? I don't know. I sort of came to mind. Here is Jesse. And here is Jack. Please note, this is not to scale because although I do know the answer, I'm just trying to pretend I don't. Right? How else, what, what else it needs to be, oh, also like, a squirrel is not as large as a human, but by the way. Um, what information do we need? What do they give you? Money? Uh, the height of the house is 15 meters. Okay, that's probably a good idea. 15 meters. What else? Someone else? Yeah, Tom? Squirrel's looking at uh, Jack with a 10 degree. Uh, okay, so if the squirrel's vision is supposed to be horizontal to start with, and we're looking down 10 degrees, okay, then that means this angle is 10 degrees. But, Use your parallel line theorem. If that is 10 degrees, what else is 10 degrees? Rock, is that a hand? No. It's a hand now. Come on. If this line, remember before when we were talking about earlier today? If the horizontal vision is supposed to be parallel with the ground, yeah. that's a given. That's an assumption you can make. And that degree is 10. What else is 10? You have to be more descriptive than that. The line on the bottom. <laughs> line on the bottom. What about the line on the bottom? 10 degrees. Where? Just, okay. Line on the bottom. I'm assuming you're talking about the ground. Yeah. And what angle does that ground make with? What other line are you talking about? So the ground, this is, this is one line. An angle requires two lines together. What is the other line that you're talking about? The line above it. So you're talking about this one? Okay, so that's diagonal line from the squirrel to Jack. Yes, that degree would also be 10. And one another assumption you can make is, of course, that's right. What else do we know? Ooh, that was a struggle, bro. What else do we know? Uh, Jesse's looking at the squirrel at a 60 degree. It's a degree, use the words, angle, of incline, yes, angle and elevation, incline, I'll accept that for sure. There it is, and that is 60 degrees. So even though I describe it differently, if you can paint the picture, the rest is the same. What is the question I'm looking for? So, sorry. What is the value I'm looking for? The distance between the yeah. So let's call that the uh, distance in D. So it's not obvious, but I'm hoping by the end of today it's more intuitive. If I'm looking for a piece, of a larger portion. How do I get there? You see it? We just talked about it. Do you remember that example I had on the board? If I want a piece, and this was, let's say, 10, and that was x, what is that equal to? And minus. So in the same way, if I can figure out what this entire length is, and I figure out what this piece is, 
I can subtract it, right? So let's try it. Do you see the two triangles? Can you find me the length of the large triangle and find me the length of the smaller triangle? I'll give you a few minutes. And if you need, I'm willing to do this. Use this to help you. Because those are the two triangles we're dealing with, right? Which, which piece do you want? Do you want this body part? Okay, so let's call this uh, D1 and D2, sure. Opposite and adjacent. So Toa is correct. Opposite and so Toa is correct. Shouldn't it take you too long? Shouldn't it take you too long? I gotta keep, I gotta keep, I sound like a broken record. Once you know how to set up the question, the math is exactly the same as what you've done on the quiz. So effectively what you are doing is getting rid of the denominators, which I'm trying to stress. But if you memorize cross-multiplying without knowing where it came from, um, you'll probably try to use it in situations you're not supposed to use. Like you won't have a fraction equaling a fraction, you'll still try using uh, cross-multiplying. Why 10, 10 like minus is equal to 85. So we didn't do anything with the 10, 10 is equal to? Like, because when I did that, I did like, um, 10 negative, like, 10 negative, like, 10 negative, like, 10 negative. Nope, we're not doing any first time. It's just really 10, 10 degrees. But when you brought it over, you didn't have to, like, subtract. Oh, I see what you're saying. Are we trying to reverse to figure out what the angle is? Are we trying to reverse the ratio? No, in fact, right now, I'm saying, the relationship that tan gives me at 10 degrees is 15 over a certain number. Okay? So we're not trying to separate the relationship of tan with the 10 degrees it came from. So it's 
Yes, this is a degrees. Ten degrees. And this is also ten degrees. Okay, uh, let's continue on. This would be the anyways. Uh, we have ten of sixty degrees equals fifteen over D in the same way. Multiply both sides by D or cross multiply. It's the same idea. Just make sure we know where that's coming from, and we have something. Yep. Eight point six six meters. So we have. Let me update our picture here. The first triangle, the shorter triangle right here, is eight point six six, and the longer length is eighty five point. Zero seven. So obviously this is not to scale, but assuming that we've done the calculations correct, what is the missing piece, which is just a subtraction? So final answer, 85.07 minus 8.66. 76.41. Thank you, 0 0.41 meters. Therefore, Jack is 76.41 meters behind Jesse.